Skipping over question 9, we go to 10, which is our first local question. It adds the condition that x is in the 3 p.m. slot. So begin by sketching your slots and put x into that slot. Now once we have the 3 p.m. slot filled, we know that m and l are going to have to fill up the two remaining slots in some room. We don't know if that's going to be the gold or the rose room, but they're going to be forced to be 1 and 2 in whatever room they're in. Since we can't write them directly into a room, what we can do is write them off to the side. So we know that in 1 and 2 on one of the rooms, we're going to have M and L. That means the two people left over are going to have to be in the other room. Those two people being, of course, Z and Y. So write X into the 3 o'clock slot in the notes that we have and Z and Y in the 1 and 2 slot in whatever room M and L aren't in. We won't be able to determine which room is which, so we're going to have to go into the answer choices just with this information. The question is asking for what must be false, so something that can never be true. And answer choice A says that L's speech is in the same room as Y's, and from the work that we've already done, and from the work that we've already done, we know that L and Y can't be in the same room. They're definitely in different rooms, which means that this is our answer. It's something that can't be true, something that must be false. That means that the remaining answer choices are wrong. We can glance at them to see why. Answer choice B says that M's speech is in the same room as X's, which could be true because we don't know what room either are in. Answer choice C says that X is with Y, which again could be true. We don't know what room anyone's in. We just know that M and L are together, Z and Y are together, and that those two blocks are in different rooms. Answer choice D says that X is in the same room as Z, which for all we know could be true, and answer choice E says that Y's speech is with Z. That answer actually must be true. They're definitely together. But since we're looking for something that must be false, the answer was answer choice A.